updating a document allows you to merge an existing document with one you provide. This can be useful when you only want to change some of the fields in the document or add new fields to it. Updating is done by posting to the underscore update resource. If we wanted to change the rainfall rate for document 1 to 0 0.5 and add a new field called observation with a value of cloudy, but leave everything else the same, we can specify just those two fields. We also need to wrap the updated fields in a doc block. The reason for adding this doc block is that you can also update the document using a script, which is something we'll come to later. Using doc tells Elasticsearch that we're updating part of the original document and we provide the field to update inside this block. When we send this request, the response includes a result key. If the update operation changed the document in the index, the key will have a value of updated. Looking at the document now, we can see that the rainfall rate has been updated. There's also our new observation field but all the other fields that already existed in the document are still there. We haven't completely replaced the document like we did when we made a put to the underscore doc resource. Sending this same request without changing anything means there's nothing for Elasticsearch to update. Elasticsearch will detect this and return no op in the result, letting you know that no work was done. So now we've got data in the index, we can get data from the index, and we can update documents in the index. Let's now have a look at how to delete documents from the index.